Do you think that the man I keep seeing had anything to do with his death? Yes. Hey Kelcats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. I am here with my haunted doll, Lola. And today I'm gonna be asking my haunted doll about different celebrities and how they pass. There's a lot of different conspiracies on each of the celebrities that we're gonna talk about today. We're not gonna be reaching out or summoning them. My intent with this video is not to disrespect any of these celebrities. So I'm gonna see what Lola thinks happened to any of these celebrities. I'll also go into detail with some of the conspiracies and why people think that some of these celebrities are still alive or that they were murdered. Let's see what a spirit has to say about it all. My nail popped off, so just ignore that even though I just pointed it out. This is my REM pod, so I'm gonna be using this. This will kind of be in the background. If you hear a beeping noise, that means that a spirit is making this go off. I will also be using my dowsing rods, which I love to use. Lola loves to use them, so these are just our go-to. As well as a spirit box app if you guys wanna use it or check it out. The link is down below in the description. Just be safe while you're using it. Don't summon anything negative on purpose. It's just not worth it, trust me. And if you guys are new to this channel, Lola is the spirit of an 18 year old woman who died in 1919. She got a really bad illness and died from that in her bed. And I have psychic medium gifts that run in my family. So I'm gonna use that as well as Lola to maybe find some answers. Without further ado, let's ask about the first celebrity. First, I'm gonna ask Lola about Michael Jackson. If you guys don't know who Michael Jackson is, he is the king of pop. Lola's kind of beeping. Oh. She's like excited about it. <laughs> but Michael Jackson was a very well-known singer, songwriter, and dancer. He was born on August 29th, 1958, and passed away on June 25th, 2009, at the age of 50, and he had cardiac arrest in his LA home. They then called the ambulance to come and help him, and he later died in the hospital. When they did his autopsy, they believed that he had a lethal overdose on a prescription drug cocktail, including the sedatives, Mizzou, Zolam, Diazepam, and Lidocaine. Sorry if I said any of those wrong. I'm so bad at pronouncing things. Lola's really reacting though. So there was like a whole lawsuit with the doctor, with this case saying the doctor wasn't authorized to prescribe these drugs to Michael, and that it was like a homicide investigation. There was all this stuff around it. Even his own daughter believed that he was murdered. So some of the conspiracies of Michael Jackson's death is that he is still alive. That is one big conspiracy. A lot of people believe that Michael Jackson is still walking around alive and just needed to get out of the public eye by faking his own death. Another conspiracy is that he was murdered, which that's the one I feel like happened. People even claim to have seen Michael. There's videos going around that it looks like they went through this tunnel and Michael Jackson gets out of like the ambulance car and goes through this secret door and all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff out there. I feel like he's not alive, but I'm gonna ask Lola what she thinks, if she thinks that he's alive and well, or if she thinks that something bad happened to him. So let's see what she says. Lola, do you believe that Michael Jackson is still alive? No, she does not. Is Michael Jackson deceased? Yes, she believes so. Do you believe that Michael is at peace? She does. Do you feel like Michael's spirit is still here on Earth? Yes. Do you believe that he was the one who killed himself? No. Do you think that he was given the wrong medications or took too many? It seems like she's hesitant. She's not really sure, but she's leaning more towards yes. Do you believe he was a good person? She does. 
Why did she just say Dr. Phil? I'm really confused. Next, I'm gonna be asking Lola about Princess Diana. Princess Diana was a member of the British royal family. She was the first wife of Charles, who was Prince of Wales, as well as a mother of Prince William and Prince Harry. She was born on July 1st, 1961, and passed away tragically on August 31st, 1997. So the way she died was in a really bad car accident. Her injuries were too severe and she didn't survive Survive, but a lot of people believe that she was murdered and it wasn't just an accident There's also conspiracies that the royal family had something to do with it There's also conspiracies that her boyfriend that she had they were about to get engaged Apparently he had bought a ring for her and the royal family did not approve of this man because he was from an Egyptian because he was an Egyptian Muslim. He was also with her in that tragic accident and lost his life as well. They believe Diana may have been pregnant and it was very forbidden for her to be dating this man with the royal family. So they had the car rigged and then it crashed or something crazy like that. It's also said that the driver of the car did have alcohol when they tested his blood. There was alcohol in his system and they believe that he got drunk on purpose and purposely crashed the car, which I think that's reaching a little bit. Why would this man kill himself just to please the royal family or do their dirty work that's just I don't know that one's like a little reaching but I'm thinking I'm like if he was that drunk wouldn't someone notice and say like hey we need to pull over you're not gonna drive like this you know instead of like letting him speed off if he was that drunk to the point where he got into a fatal car accident. But that's just my opinion. Some people say that the paparazzi was responsible for that crash or the royal family hired the paparazzi to chase the car and make them crash. There's also rumors that Princess Diana saw the royal family kill someone else and she was scared and knew that she was gonna be murdered. Comment below what you guys think happened. Let's see what Lola thinks. Lola, do you believe that Princess Diana was do you believe that Princess Diana was murdered? I heard yes. She does. Do you believe that the car crash was just an accident? She doesn't. Do you think that anyone in the royal family had to do with Princess Diana's death? Yes. I almost feel like Lola's like angry about it. Like she's kind of upset about it or there's just this energy that's just upset. Some people believe that there was like a bomb. Lola, do you believe that there was a bomb that was placed? No, she doesn't think that there was a bomb. Do you think that the car was rigged in some way? She doesn't think the car was rigged, but you believe that there was some sneakiness like that that happened. Yes. Do you think that everyone in the royal family knows about this? No. So it must have been someone in the royal family that Lola thinks did something? Do you think that Princess Diana's at peace? She doesn't. It's almost like she's angry. Like I just feel all this anger, like you're like agitation in a way. I don't know if it's coming from Lola or what it's coming from, but I'm just getting super like aggravated, just like frustrated. Do you think that Princess Diana wants justice in some way? Is that why she's not at peace? Was this the first time the royal family did anything sneaky like this? No. Guys, if they come after me... <laughs> this is intense, like... So awful. But hopefully Princess Diana gets justice one day or finds peace. That just makes me so sad knowing that she's just not at peace. Like, you can almost feel it. It's just... it's... Oh. Makes me so sad. All right, moving on to Kurt Cobain. This one's very interesting as well. Kurt Cobain was an American singer, songwriter, musician, and artist. He was the frontman of the rock band Nirvana. 
Lola seems to be a fan of some sort. <laughs> he was born on February 20th, 1967 and passed away very tragically on April 5th, 1994. He was found with a shotgun lying across his body and had suffered a visible gunshot wound to the head. There was also some sort of note that they believed to be a suicide note found nearby his body. They ruled it as an apparent suicide but didn't really look further into it and a lot of fans were really disappointed because I said this on my podcast podcast but I feel like fans know their idols like fans pay attention to like the type of person their idol is they watch interviews they they're very dedicated to knowing who this person is whereas like the FBI or like the police department they only see evidence so that's what a lot of fans were really disappointed with they were just like I don't think that he would have done this and in such an aggressive manner like it seems like he would have you know if it's true that he did commit suicide they feel like he would have done it in a less aggressive way just based on his character they say that around this time kurt had very bad depression had severe stomach pain and he was addicted to heroin a man named tom grant actually made a valid point and he said that kurt cobain was found with a very significant amount of heroin in his system apparently it was like three times the lethal dose but he believes that if he had that much in his system he wouldn't be able to pick up the gun and aim and like do all that with the shotgun so that's one theory this man like really dug in and he says that he also studied the suicide note and realized that it didn't like match up. It was almost as if someone else had finished the note. He thinks that the top half of Cobain's letter was meant to announce that he intended to leave the music business behind. But then the bottom half of the note had different content and mentioned love and Cobain's daughter. There were just too many inconsistencies. There was even this man named Eldon Hoke who came forward saying that Courtney Love, which was Kurt Cobain's ex-lover, that she had tried to offer him $50,000 to kill Kurt Cobain. But the weirdest part about this is after this interview, this man was hit by a train. Fans also wrote in to FBI to see, hey, can you reopen this investigation? Like, we believe that he was murdered. We believe that there's more to this. And they just responded that there wasn't enough evidence and they didn't want to open it back up and just all this stuff. This is such a tragic story and rest in peace to Kurt Cobain. Um, we're going to ask Lola and see what she thinks of this, if we can get any answers. So let's see what she says. Lola, do you believe that Kurt Cobain's death was an accident? No. Do you believe that he is the one who shot himself? That was a really quick no. Do you think that Kurt is at peace at least? Okay, that's good. At least he's in a good place. Do you believe that he was murdered in some way? Yes. Have you ever come across him? No, she hasn't. Do you believe that someone was with him when he initially died? Yes. Every time I look into this, I just see this man with him. It's almost as if he's like standing over him. I just always see this figure of a man. I don't know, like maybe it could maybe be like the police who came and found him or someone who found him. But like, I don't know. It's just really eerie to me. Like just see, keep, I just keep seeing it. Do you think that the man I keep seeing had anything to do with his death? Yes. Is Kurt happy now at least? Oh, that's good. At least he's happy, you know, not suffering with depression or his addiction in any way. Rest in peace to Kurt. I hope Lola's right that he's happy and he is in a good place. All right, that is all the celebrities I'm going to get to today. I'm very exhausted from that, those sessions. It was just very intense and super sad. But if there's any other celebrities who have passed that you would like us to look into or me ask Lola questions about, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed also hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post and I will see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.